The breast is a busy organ with cell growth happening all the time. Over a lifetime, cells in the breast continue to multiply and will eventually die if not needed. This is a complex process controlled by oncogenes. Oncogenes are responsible for switching cell growth on and off. And if damaged, cells can grow out of control and lead to cancer. Breasts are made up of lobules and ducts. Lobules produce breast milk and ducts carry milk to the nipple. Breast cancer happens when gene mutations trigger the uncontrolled division and growth of cells within the breast. If the uncontrolled cells are contained within the ducts or lobules, it is non-invasive breast cancer because they have not invaded the breast tissue. Non-invasive cancers are called carcinomas in situ and are precancers. Two main types of non-invasive breast cancer are DCIS and LCIS. DCIS is the presence of abnormal cells inside a milk duct. And LCIS is the presence of abnormal cells in the lobule. Pre-invasive cells will only grow locally and cannot on their own spread to other parts of the body. When abnormal cells are left untreated and continue to grow uncontrollably, the cells spread and start to invade the surrounding breast tissue. This is invasive breast cancer, and there are many different types. Early breast cancer is cancer that is contained within the breast and surrounding lymph nodes. Metastatic breast cancer is when cancer cells have spread to other parts of the body through the blood or lymphatic system. Breast cancer is the most common type of cancer affecting women in Australia, with over 20,000 women and approximately 200 men diagnosed every year. More people are being diagnosed with breast cancer because of increased community awareness and improved screening, leading to earlier detection. Environmental and lifestyle factors may also play a role. The five-year survival rate in Australia has risen from 77.3% to 91.8% among the best rates in the world. While the exact causes of breast cancer are unknown, we do know the biggest risk factors are being female, getting older, or having a strong family history of breast cancer. Most people who develop breast cancer do not have a strong family history. 5 to 10% of breast cancers occur in people who have inherited a single gene mutation from a parent. This most commonly occurs in two genes called BRCA1 and BRCA2. Genetic tests are available to see if anyone has inherited an abnormal gene. Anyone with a strong family history and is concerned about their risk should talk to their GP. Women with dense breasts have an increased risk due to cancers being missed on a mammogram. You can aim to reduce your risk of breast cancer by maintaining a healthy weight, regular exercise, limiting alcohol intake, not smoking, minimizing the use of hormone replacement therapy or breastfeeding for longer. Understanding risk can help you to make choices about factors within your control.